anchored opposite the jetty at Lucinda in about 2.4 meters of water at low tide. Opposite the boat ramp and jetty. Come over to the to Lucinda to have a look at the uh, jetty for the sugar terminal. It goes out into the sea 5.7 k's. This is what a small bit looks like. It's uh, Basically all it is is a big concrete road on trestles and on top of it it's got a uh, covered conveyor. Starts down there at the sugar sheds. and ends up out there. I've been here about four days now and uh, the weather at the uh, is not too good but it's quite it's not uh, heavy winds and at the moment the uh, on the end of Lucinda jetty the weather station is saying about 8 to 11 knots which is uh, you know in my in my band so I'm gonna head off you know it's, it's from the south it's straight on the nose but we'll We'll see, we might have to use a bit of go juice, but uh, we'll see. I've just got to get the, uh, di I wasn't going to go today, but because uh, of the weather, I'm going to give it a go. So just got to get the dinghy off the outboard. I got all the oars out, then I've realized I left, uh, I bloody padlocked it, the outboard. So I've got to get the key now. And once I've got that off, put the rudder down, put the keel halfway, and I'm off. GT fishing charters are just going out. Very nice setup he's got. It's got a little bit of tide against me. And there's the sugar wharf over there and the jetty. And uh, at the last buoy here, At the last boy we've got uh, it's dropped off quite considerably there now, but there was three. It was 2.2, and uh, this is about uh, two thirds tide. You can see by the beach over there how high the tide is. Bound sun, Sunbird. Nice Victorian boat there. How are you going? Back in. Hey. There's the boating for fisheries patrol. Going by Miranda. I'm lucky I passed them on the right side. Well. Us in the end of the wharf here. This must have been the old sugar zone, sugar terminal at one time, a long time ago, I think. He says keep clear 20 meters because the risk of collapse. But uh, doesn't look too bad to me. And there's an old tin shed on the end here that's uh, survived quite a few cyclones. And the last port and mark passing and the starboard hand marks on that big bollard there. So you certainly wouldn't want to hit that in the night. Start of the jetty. The middle of the jetty. And the end of the jetty is right on the bow. Which I call the sugarcane terminal there for the, for the ships. 
There was one in here about three days ago, but it's uh, obviously it's filled up and gone. I'm in uh, alarms going off. I'm in 3.1 of water here, three meters. I should be over a bit further, but uh, got the barge here coming. Got the barge coming out here. Alarms going off. I'm in 3.1 of water here. Just where I am, where I am in relation to the uh, sugar tank terminal. Looking out ahead, there's a boy out there I should be aiming for, but I saw it earlier on, but I can't see it at the moment. The barge you see there is going to Palm Island. Looking back from where I've come from, behind the knob, behind that knob over there is Zoe Bay. got knocked, which means that you know, I was going to windward as best I could and I had to keep bearing away. And I think I had to bear away at least 20 degrees. So, well, bugger it, I'll tack. So now I'm going uh, on my making tack. I'm doing quite well. Got the catamaran over there going for Orpheus Island. I had to fold this uh, solar panel up against the boat on this tack. Well, we're heading towards Orpheus Island. Only a little speed bumps at the moment. Uh, about another hour we'll be over there, I hope. It's, it's less, less than that. The main ride out on the Traveller at the moment. So that the autopilot steers it easily. And I've got to go and empty the loop. Well, I'm at Orpheus Island in the bay here where all the coral is and it's all taken up by commercial fishermen. That was the catamaran that we saw this morning, motor over. Hasn't changed much since I was here a couple of months ago. So we got a COVID's uh, kind of over and they're operating again. So that's their uh, vehicle to go from uh, Dungeness to here. And when I saw that go over today, it took about oh, 15 students back. This is the point, and I'm going to just motor up the island. I might as well make some uh, some miles south. Well, that's Orpheus Island. Uh, just coming round that point. There's a resort in here. There's a resort in there, and I think we're going to anchor over here on that bit of blue just there by the looks of it. Motoring along at the moment at that. That's where I'm anchored in Orpheus. Resorts in there. I'll just zoom in. I'm just in uh, 10 meters of water.
I got up and got going about 7 o'clock, it's now 1 o'clock, 20 to 1 anyway, and I'm hungry so I haven't had any breakfast so I'm going to skip that, I'm going to have some pasta. So on the stove here I've got some pasta boiling away, I don't know about, about been about there long enough now, and then I've got some beans, I've cut some beans, just topped and tailed them and I'm going to throw them in. So they go together and as soon as those beans are now not overcooked I'll uh, drain them and then I'll put some pasta sauce in it, give it another minute or so and then I'll eat it with some cheese. I've got this stuff here and uh, it's quite good. I've Basically I think I've had, at the moment I've got four meals out of this uh, thing just with the, uh, as a sauce, with the pasta. That's the sauce put in, just mixing it in, warming it up a bit. Mm. Tastes very nice. I'm going to just knock it down to simmer like that. Give it a bit more of a stir. And there you have it, dinner, lunch. I just wiped the pan out to save water. And I've got a perfectly clean pan for to do something else in. And there's me grated parmesan. Just chuck a bit of that on it. Give it a bit of a garnish, like the parmesan. There you go. When you come into a place like this, you uh, have to gin around a bit and uh, look for somewhere to anchor. Now, there was all the boats were in here, and, I'm, uh, and all I'm thinking about is how deep I put the anchor in and what the bottom's like. I don't want to uh, land the anchor on coral. It's not really because I want to damage it, I just don't want to get it trapped down there and can't get it up. So when you look at your uh, echo sounder, you're looking for a nice smooth bottom. And I uh, went over where the other guy, where the other guys were here, and there was quite a few little coral heads down there, as far as I could see. So I wasn't very keen on anchoring near them. So I moved out a bit further this way, and the bottom was smooth. And there were two trawlers out here as well, anchored. And uh, uh, I don't say that I take any notice of trawlers, but uh, but they don't want to get uh, you know they've been coming here a fair bit, so they obviously know where they can anchor, and uh, they're not going to get their uh, anchor snagged. This boat over here is a nice boat, nice ocean-going boat, uh, canoe stern. Uh, it's great. It's got to have a small cockpit. Uh, really nice for you know if you want to go around the world in really. Except that uh, it's bloody slow. You know everywhere you go around the world, you're always trying to stay out the wind, so you end up uh, going in the latitudes where there's only 15 knots of breeze, and that thing will uh, is quite a slow boat for uh, uh, for doing. For the kind of uh, winds that you generally get. Coming on round there's a uh, catamaran. I'm trying to say it without the G, so it's a catamaran. And it's a uh, motorised one. So uh, he's on a National Park buoy. This one here is a uh, nice motor sailor. We saw that at uh, in Hinchinbrook by the island, and uh, he came out uh, the next day when I went into Dunwich. So he's been here about four days now. On the other side of the boat, there's a uh, another catamaran. Uh, 
I didn't see him come into I didn't see him come today from anywhere so uh, it must have been when I was down asleep but behind that is the resort I've got a boat here on the southern point it's uh, on a national park buoy there that's how he can go so close in